Hey guys, it's me, IT Buddy, and today we will be reviewing the DLS S6 HG, which is a projector from WeJoy. It's a little off brand, but um, just so many features for under for two hundred dollars. And honestly, this is one of the best portable projectors I've ever seen. It's my favorite, actually. Fits right in my pocket. Now its resolution is eight fifty four by four eighty. It's a little low, but it upscales beautifully. It looks can't even see the pixels, and it comes with a tripod, a remote, HDMI, and a charger cable. It works perfectly, actually. And um, it's just so many like options you can use with it and I'll be doing a video test soon I just wanna you know, get all the pictures out see you guys see all the corners it's a quiet projector it runs Android 4.4 comes to HDMI 1 it just is amazing 2001 to 1 contrast ratio and just so many options with it like the Wi-Fi 5G or 2.4 and it comes with 8 gigabytes of in, in storage so I'll just go right into video test so you guys how amazing it is so okay fun. so let's do a projector test I already have it hooked up and everything. I set it on a big projector screen. It's only like 800 by 600, but just look at it. it looks amazing. Fills up my entire screen. It's pretty straight. You guys can see. No noise at all. Right now, I don't even have it plugged in. It's completely wireless and fits in your pocket. Very nice. It's really bright. You see, my room is about pitch black. I mean, the curtains pretty much block out all the sunlight. So let's get right into it. So right now, instead of using the regular remote it comes with, I use my phone. Great new feature. See on the screen is actually a mouse feature. Or you can use a cross. Stuff like that to go to your settings. So it sets this projector apart. It's just pretty much everything about it. It's only $200 and you can connect to Wi-Fi, download apps, games. It's like, it looks HD. I know it's not, but it upscales to that and it looks great. So right now on my phone, I can actually mirror my screen. One second, I can actually go do that. So on the phone, you click screen mirroring, it goes to your home screen, and then I'm going to go to an app like, I don't know, look at my text messages. See how your text messages come up there, or you can go to pretty much any app, like I can go play a game like Paper IO. look right there, and then it shows up on there, wait for that to load. And this just opens up so many different like possibilities with your projector. I mean, there's basically no lag at all, even though it's wireless. And you can still connect things via HDMI, which I will be showing you guys. So if we head back into the eShare app, which will be used for this, it's an AirPlay. You can also do this on Android, not just iPhone, doesn't really matter. You can stream YouTube right from your phone. Or even, you can just go on the YouTube app on the actual projector itself. Now... It's a little rainbow right now, but that's not on the actual one I'm looking at. It's just the projector and the camera itself. So let's go back over here to the remote. Let's go head back out. Back button, home. So we have Twitter, Facebook, Netflix right there. And we don't even need the phone or the remote to do it. Gmail or any app you can get from the App Store. Now how I usually use this, I, I connect it to my Chromebook or my laptop that the school gives us. Or I have my custom setup right here, as you can guys see. Recording setup, just saying. I may make a video on it, you never know. But it's a great projector, no noise, $200. It comes with a tripod, I'm not using it because it sets up perfectly on the little projector setup I have right now. But I definitely recommend it, $200 for this little portable projector. I bring it when I went to sectionals for track. You know, you can bring it with you, put it on a wall, connect anything to it. It's pretty decent in, in, um, in projector speakers. It's just overall a great value projector, and I recommend getting it. It's definitely the best portable projector, 2017. And especially in this price range, it's pretty hard to beat. Now, I recommend going to AliX Express to get it. They have a great return policy. I've ordered many projectors from there. Great quality. And if you guys want to see some video quality, let's actually head into YouTube, just so I can show you guys. Okay, using the phone remote works great. Okay, so let's click uh, Ryan Higa. Sure. Mm. There we go. Now the volume low. It's a little tinny, but it still sounds good. 
but definitely in a small room with your friends. Look at that. It looks great. Color reproduction, the blacks look great. You can tell everything apart. And this, this feature right here with the scroll, works amazing. That's why I recommend playing games on it. So let's go back home. This is a small feature that makes this projector great, like the battery. I haven't charged this battery in three weeks, and it's still at 23%. And it's quick charge, so, well, not actually quick charge 3.0, but it charges fast, is what I'm trying to say. Comes with so many apps, so many different possibilities. I consider using this uh, against my, I'm getting a, right now I have a Fuji Tech projector right there. But I'm getting one from, I can't remember, it was a $400 actual native HD 1080p projector. And I don't know. I may use this one more because it's just so many options. Now I'll also be playing different games on my computer. And it does come with one HDMI in or out port. It switches. Which is a neat feature actually. But it just really, it's just so much versatility that you can do so much with it. Like I can't take my giant projector with me. But I can put that in my pocket which just makes this great. And honestly for $200, this is the best portable projector of 2017. And I recommend you guys getting it. So if you guys enjoyed my review, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share it, you know, just the usual. And links in the description to buy it, you know, helps me out, helps you out. And yeah, you guys have a nice day. See ya. Yeah.